Hey, thanks for tuning in to the Island Viper. I was lucky enough to get some of the Cobra Eels. More troops for the Legion! Yes, this guy right here, Amazon exclusive. Uh, <laughs> exclusive troop builders are pretty controversial. Uh, people don't seem to like that at all. But uh, even with the high prices right now, uh, these things are selling for considerably over retail. I won't, I won't go into like exactly what they're selling for, but uh, anyway, these figures uh, should be like any other Amazon exclusive, very, very available in the future. Um, there should be more restocks of these in the coming months, hopefully very soon. I do want to get more of them. Uh, have not yet opened one. We're going to do that. My first, uh, first time having this figure out of the package here on camera. So let's get to it. First things first, we're going to go over the packaging. You have a, uh, seen a background here that appears to be on the same submarine or at least in the same area as the background for torpedo. So are they standing on the same sub, but you have the worms of death here in the background, just as you did with the torpedo figure. And on the side, you have this nice art splash and he is number 81. The box number being on the same side as the artwork, which is a change that they made in these new boxes. And then you have the QR code over here on this side. A uh, little bit of artwork and the number. On the back, it shows you all of the accessories and details on the backpack or air tank. You have the Cobra Eels logo, the new Eels logo there. You have a, I'm assuming a radar here, uh, which would be on the figure's arm. The Flippers spear gun, which is the same one that came with Torpedo. I think that knife may actually be the same as well. And then you have his dive kit, which is the air tank, the hoses, and the helmet. Uh, we'll see if that's all one piece. I know that uh, at least the legs were reused from a Torpedo, and I think the arms are original, uh, new, new sculpts. Uh, the head probably is as well, and the, tor the top piece of the torso here. So, open this figure up. And as usual, we have the little coffin tray with the, oh shit. Well, that's not good. Uh, pretty disappointing. Hopefully it's not actually broken and uh, can be put back together. You saw me open it. You saw me untape. You, I cut the tape right here on camera, but check that out. The figure's arm was completely detached. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna plug back in. Let's go ahead and get these untwisted here. Uh, as with any mass-produced item, there's going to be some QC issues here and there. I really can't see a QC issue like that just being a, a, a random, regular occurrence. So this uh, this piece here uh, is is probably removable uh, if. You know what? We're going to go ahead and see if it is. We're going to pop the figure's head off. I mean, we might as well. Uh, the neck come off pretty easy as well. And then this... Hey, check it out. So, uh, I, <laughs> I had seen some complaints early on about how high the figure's color uh, set. So, that does come off. At least, uh, at least there's one good thing about the arm being completely detached is that I could show you that, that butterfly joint. If you look at that socket, it appears as though it might be... Okay, so what I'm going to have to do is heat this up. It looks like the arm just wasn't fully inserted at the factory. I don't believe that we have any actual defect here affecting the figure. So that's good. I should be able to just heat the figure up in hot water and plug the arm straight back into it. We do have a little bit of overspray here or a little paint scratch maybe on that red. But uh, honestly, like there is some customization options here for um, a different diver type figure if you wanted to remove this and have him 
uh, with more normal looking proportions. So yeah, this is dive gear that, uh, that is attached to the figure. It's a separate piece. I actually did not have to heat that up to pop the arm back in. Uh, it just appears as though the arm was not inserted correctly at the factory. They just didn't lock it into place. So there's zero issue, issues here with the arm or the butterfly joint. And you have the double jointed elbows, which are free moving. And the typical wrist and hand articulation. Uh, a friend of mine said that he thought that the figure looked thin. I, I think that he looks to have more of a swimmer's body. Um, one thing I don't like is how long this neck is. This neck is very long and it looks weird to me. Um, if you look at the digital render on the back of the box, you can see that the neck is much shorter in the digital render. I don't know if maybe that's just this figure or if that's actually, uh, something going on with all of them um man that really that bugs me i don't like the way that looks i'm also not entirely sure how the neck should be oriented i believe that it's oriented correctly but there's also quite a bit of a gap there and it seems as though this piece of dive gear uh hides that gap um overall so far, I'm not super happy with this figure just because of the way the neck looks. It, it's pretty weird to me. They could have, uh, unless that is to accommodate uh, accessories, gear, then uh, he's not going to look good unless he's geared up. And I would have preferred to have the neck be shorter so that the figure looked good without all of the dive gear on. Speaking of the dive gear, uh, we'll get into that in a second, but check out that silver Cobra logo there on his chest. Here you have the uh, dive radar. I guess that's what it would be called. Um, overall, it's a good looking body. The figure looks good itself. All the joints seem to be great. Um, I know that in the promo shots, the figure that they, they use for the promo shots the lower leg, the calf, had a short shot from the mold, and there was a big gap right here. Uh, this does not have that on the actual figure, so that's good. I wouldn't expect it to. Short shots happen in uh, plastic injection molding industry. It's just one of those little defects that you have to deal with. He does have some additional uh, articulation here. Some figures have what we uh, refer to as a boot cut or a, um, a calf rotator. And his is down more toward the ankle instead of being up here under the knee where we would typically see that. Taking a look at all of the accessories here, you have his dive knife with the red handle. Let's see how that plugs in. Straight into the sheath, no problem. Looks good. You have these swim fins that are labeled for the right foot and the left foot. So these go on similarly to how they do with Torpedo. And they're a great fit. That soft plastic comes in really handy there. Where the soft plastic does not come in handy is the spear gun. Man, that thing is the same as it was with Torpedo. Very much deformed and uh, pliable. I believe that it was asked of Lenny uh, about the uh, flimsy weapons, and he had said that that was the an issue they had when they had moved factories and that it was being rectified uh, and that it will be fixed for future waves. Here we have the Cobra Eel insignia on the dive pack. And looks like he has a little jets down here, a little propulsion unit. Let's get to the helmet. This is the piece that I really wanted to look at. You do have the clear lens, which is, appears to be a separate piece that's glued into the diving helmet. And uh, does this come off? Nope, the breather is glued to it as well. 
so is the antenna on the side. So this is actually multiple pieces that are all glued together. And the air hoses will plug in right here on the sides of the air tank. It's a pretty snug fit on the helmet. Man, that is, uh, that is tight. All right, so I think that I might have a defective figure. Just his head sets up way too high. Look at that. The neck should be shorter and the head should set down much lower than that. He looks, <laughs> he just looks so weird. I'm going to have to open another one just to see if it's uh, in the same condition and uh, this may be something that I report to Hasbro as a manufacturing defect but here he is all geared up and good looking figure I mean he's very plain but sometimes simplicity is for the best and he does have that that spear gun which uh, I don't care much for at least the figure's hands are also pliable let's see if we can get this lanyard over his wrist and kind of plug that in there with the finger where it's supposed to go oriented correctly there we go don't get me wrong this is a really good looking figure I think I might have just gotten one that's that's a little funky a little bit messed up um i'm gonna open another one here real quick just to make sure and get this guy put into a uh, display case if he is indeed defective i'll report that to hasbro and they will probably end up replacing it or sending me another similar figure i might be able to take the neck off of a torpedo figure and fix it that way i do have an extra torpedo laying over here well, that's not going to work. The torpedo neck ball is smaller, actually much smaller, than the one for the Cobra Eel. I wish that they would use the same size connections on all of the figures. That would make things a whole lot easier. But uh, since we have both of these guys out here uh, next to each other, we can kind of take a look and see what's what. You do have similar dive gear here. So it looks like they also might have reused the torso of Torpedo for the eel. The legs are definitely uh, the same. And are the feet the same? It appears as though the feet are the same as well. You just have the, oh, the hands are the same too. Look, so the same hands different arms looks like the bicep piece here is the same so you just have new uh, new forearms and shoulders uh, and the head of course is different so those are the new pieces and the the over molded or the uh, the diaper for the universal crotch the crotch is probably the same on both figures as well so the necks are not the issue both of these necks appear to be pretty much about the same size they are different but they're about the same size uh, i really think that the problem with this figure lies within this uh this ball uh, this ball joint here the dog bone that goes down into the torso uh might be a little bit too long i haven't ever tried to crack one of these open but it might be possible to switch these out as well and put the one from torpedo into the uh, Cobra eel torso. Maybe we should just make this torpedo figure into a, a, a dive Cobra commander and uh, leave it at that. So this is indeed a defective figure itself. There's something wrong here with the neck joint. Um, I'm not sure that's even the right neck that's on the figure. It appears as though it might be you see the Adam's apple here. The Adam's apple here is also oriented in the same direction, but you see much more of that neck and even the gap down here you can see. I think, uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to turn this one into Hasbro uh, for a defect. You can see the height differentiation there. 
Let's lay the figure down here on the grid and get them lined up, stretched out. Uh, do heels to the six inch line on both of the figures. Heels to the six inch line. He's a good quarter inch taller than the figure that's not defective. That's right on the line. And yeah, I think that they'll probably replace that. I wanna see what the problem is. So we'll pop that head off and see if this neck, yeah, see this neck does not come off nearly as easy as the other one does. So this is the one that I'll display in a clamshell case and probably end up uh, having to send this guy back because I mean, just look at that big giraffe neck that's on this guy. Here we have the figure that's not defective, all geared up and the head appears to be a normal height. Plug in the air hoses and you still have room to move the head around, which uh, you really couldn't move the head around very much on the other figure without the air hoses coming unplugged from the air pack much much better looking figure and now i'm not so uh i'm not as disappointed in the cobra eel as what i originally was there we have the new cobra eel clammed up and with the other opened classified figures that i have here displayed in these clam showcases uh, some marvel legends down there i'm not really doing a whole lot with marvel legends anymore just kind of got out of them completely but i think he looks good with just a helmet on in the packaging so anyway i'm gonna get a hold of hasbro and see if they'll uh if they'll send me a new figure to replace the one that's defective and uh kind of go from there anyway give you a quick walk around as i've done a couple times in the past here we have some other stuff that i collect transformers and whatnot different lines this spy troops is one of my favorite gi joe lines just because of all the stuff they came with and it was two packs. It was just a, a maybe a little bit ahead of its time or something. I don't know. They kind of didn't go over too well. They are O-ring figures, but a lot of people did not like the construction of those. You got some third party up there. The uh, reaction, of course. Down here, these mock masters cases for the quote unquote tall cards. The six by ten battle core and star brigade ninja force. All of those. And then over here three and three quarter collection with the clamshell cases Got a lot of those figures uh third party and originals that i had when i was a kid plus stuff from uh collections that i've purchased in the past mock masters is the way to go for carded figures uv protective rock solid cases uh, i got those valor versus venom and dtc multi-packs i really really like the dtc line as well i have all of those figures uh, let's see what else. I got that big baby Galactus over there. Some Action Force stuff. I like. I'm, I'm moving a lot of things around right now uh, because I'm I'm out of space. So, but Modern Collection over here, Valor versus Venom, along with Spy Troops being one of my favorite uh, three and three quarter lines. And then the Ever Elusive. Hard to get Haya toys. Storm Shadow and Snake Eyes is there behind him. Uh, some HasLab figures. And of course down here we got some of the 50th anniversary. I'm not gonna show you my desk because I got stuff all over it. But there's just a ton of uh, ton of stuff here in my collection. Right, thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button, the notification bell, so that you get notified whenever I post new content. And I'll be back with uh, with more videos here soon, uh, both G.I. Joe, non-G.I. Joe. I know I've been doing a lot of G.I. Joe lately, but I've got some Marvel Legends and stuff like that that I need to uh, post videos of as well. But until then, Cobra!